Hello friends, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to make modern text and logo reveal animation in After Effects, so let's have a look. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed to my channel to watch new tutorial each Friday. Let's start, create a new composition. Name it as the logo. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Now we need to import our logo. Let's do it. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed. I will scale my logo to 150%. Now create a new composition. Name it as logo wipe. Now we need to add our logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and presets search for Venetian blinds. Add it to the logo composition. Now create a keyframe for transition completion. Change transition completion value to 100. Go to 1 seconds and 14 frames. Change the transition completion value to 0. Press U to view created keyframes. Select all created keyframe. Change the keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph as shown. Now change the direction to minus 30 degree. Change width value to 1000. Now press S to bring up the scales. Go to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for scales. Change the scale value to 80%. Now go to 1 seconds and 28 frames. Change the scale value to 50%. Select the created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Go to 1 seconds and 16 frames. Create a keyframe for opacity. Go to 1 seconds and 23 frames. Change opacity value to 0. Now we need to create 3 more duplicates. This will save our time. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. Now select the third logo composition layer. Press U to view created keyframes. Change the direction to 150. Change the width value to 330. Now here we need to adjust the keyframes. Select the end keyframe for scale. Position it at 1 seconds and 14 frames. Now select the opacity keyframes. Position the start keyframe at 1 seconds and 9 frames. Now select the second logo composition layer. Press U to view created keyframes. Select the end keyframe for transition completion. Position it at 1 second. Now select the end keyframe for scale. Position it at 1 seconds and 10 frames. Now select the opacity keyframes. Position the start keyframe at 1 seconds and 8 frames. Now change the direction to 150 degree. Change width value to 1700. Now select the first logo composition layer. Now change the direction to 150 degree. Change width value to 330. Press U to view created keyframes. Now select the end keyframe for scale. Position it at 1 seconds and 15 frames. Now select the opacity keyframes. Position the start keyframe at 1 seconds and 3 frames. For first opacity keyframe, change opacity value to 0. Now change end keyframe value to 100. For logo 2 change mode to difference. For logo 3 change mode to difference. Now we need to adjust the position on the timeline for all compositions. 
Position the fourth logo composition at a distance of two frames. Position the third logo composition at a distance of eight frames. Position the second logo composition at a distance of nine frames. Position the first logo composition at a distance of eight frames. Now create a new adjustment layer. Now for all logo composition layer change parent to the adjustment layer. Now press S to bring up the scale. Create the keyframe for scale. Change scale value to 65%. Now go at 16 frames. Change scale value to 200%. Now go to 1 second and 6 frames. Change scale value to 100. Select all created keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph. Now let's create another composition. Name it as white transition. Now add the logo wipe composition to the timeline. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Press S to bring up the scales. Change scale value to 120%. Now search for tint. Add it to logo composition. Press T to bring up the opacity. Go to 1 second. Create a keyframe for opacity. Go 8 seconds forward. Change opacity value to 0. Now we need to create 3 more duplicates. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. For second logo wipe composition layer, remove the tint effect. Do the same for third logo wipe composition layer. Now again add logo wipe composition to the timeline. For second logo wipe composition layer, change the mode to difference. Do the same for fourth logo wipe composition layer. Now we need to adjust the position on the timeline of all compositions. Position the first logo wipe composition at a distance of 11 frames. Position the second logo wipe composition at a distance of 5 frames. Position the fourth and fifth logo wipe composition at a distance of 11 frames. Now create a new composition. Name it as final. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. Search for fill. Add it to the background solid layer. Change color to light gray. You can change the background color according to your logo. Now let's add the wipe transition composition to the timeline. Now go to layer. From time select enable time remapping. Go to 2 seconds. Change time remap value to 3 seconds. Go to 3 seconds. Change time remap value to 3 seconds. Now change the end keyframe value to 0. Now create a new solid. Name it as the frame. Draw mask as shown. Select mode to subtract. Now let's preview it. You can download this complete project from the below link in the description. This also works with text. Let's preview by adding text. Go to logo composition. Hide the logo layer. Add the text. Align the text to the center.
Let's preview it. Here our logo reveal animation is ready. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this tutorial then leave a thumbs up and your valuable comment and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe. If you have any query or question feel free to comment below and you can also contact me on any of the social media given in the description. Thank you.